Hello everyone and welcome to the channel, it's up Maxim again and the decor gift pack is back. It's actually back for like one and a half days now. It's a bit weird event because yes, it does come every month, but it always lasts only four days. It's not a full week. It's, yeah, whatever, <laughs> whatever, yeah. But uh, when you do buy the things for it, uh, you get to keep these decor carnival vouchers for the next time as well. So basically what you sort of want to be doing is you want to be buying the biggest packs, the ones for $100 and uh, to get the 20 percent extra right then you get 120 of them and basically because you need to buy 999 uh, vouchers for the skin uh, for the base skins and because uh, you get an average of five vouchers per chest you end up with needing um, like 1.66 uh, of these purchases okay so you do end up with you know you need like 200 uh, boxes which end up to being like one and two thirds of a purchase. So basically, if you buy two of them, you are gonna get it with sort of a discount per the vouchers themselves. And you are also more likely to not like them because of course you can get lucky or unlucky with these vouchers when you're opening the boxes. And also you can get uh, lucky and actually get uh, a random, you know, the selector there randomly. And they also increased the number, but they already did that last month, I think. To three so you can actually buy three of them if you want to whale out so you can like throw like five hundred dollars at them and actually buy three skins outright from this selector which now includes almost everything except like the very newest skins uh, you know like the um, that I cannot right now show you because of you know issues with UID and st so on but you can check them in game yourself however why this is important right now is that tropical city is actually uh, added here now as you can see and this is the this is actually the best navy skin right now okay this is the best navy skin for damage wise stats wise for a solo player for the player who bought it and uh, if so yeah there is also the atlantis of course and so on which lets you buff your teammates i'm not gonna go into that right now there's another video i already made a video about this event before i made a video where i basically talk about all of them from out of the blue down then I made a video where I talk about these two, and then I made a video where I talk about these two, I think. Um, yeah. Oh, there is maybe actually something added here which was not here. I don't think the ice cream was here, but let's ignore that, okay? Anyway, so yes, as I said, this is actually the best skin for uh, Navy, and the reason is because it has plus 8% Navy damage increase. Which for me, if I remember the math last time I did, I think last time I did the math and basically every percent of damage increase was like 4 or was it 6% of uh, attack bonus? I'm not sure now. I made the math on the hydropower um, skin, I think, uh, video. And basically what it means is that, you know, like the damage increase is just so much better. Especially if you're like later on and uh, stronger as well. And yeah, like there is, I, I fought someone in uh, Siege of Odinium today who actually did not have three heroes, but let's take a look. Okay, uh, never mind, never mind that. Uh, he did not have three heroes, but he still had like 900%. I don't know if I'm actually gonna be able to find it, so never mind that. But we can just maybe take a look at some other random person who I fought, and let's take a look. And he actually has got the 763% Navy HP bonus and 610 navy attack bonus and much less uh, navy damage bonus and much less all uh, damage bonus if we actually are going to be able to find it so then we could do yeah okay he has 85 percent all damage units but there was actually the buff from that as well okay so never mind that the point stands okay um, the plus damage is just so much stronger than plus attack of course as you know probably yourself from uh, thinking about the skins and so on and testing it yourself with the uh, skills i mean sorry skills on heroes so yeah uh, anyway so yeah i do recommend that if you mm, are navy you should get this skin unless you really want to help your teammates of course with the buffs and or you want to have the long term things about the phantom ship which is probably the second best uh, one for solo players uh, for navy but more in another video about that later, I think. I actually got the opinions from some very experienced players who are like dominating some servers like 300 to 400 uh, and are much more experienced than me and their take on, on these skins and some of these skins. So yeah, 
Um, don't forget about this event, as I said, it's pretty great. It's actually, in my opinion, well, I haven't actually used it, because I don't have the money. But it is actually, in my opinion, uh, the best way to get these uh, pay-to-win skins. Because, as I said, you can, you get to take, you get to keep anything that you spend over, or that you, if you get lucky, anything that, any vouchers you keep until next time, which is not the case in other, uh, like, when the other events when the skins are released, newly, re newly released to the game. And also you get all of this other stuff, you can get quite a lot of components there as well. Uh, you know, because you get a random one of these things. Uh, we actually do not know the drop chance for that, but never mind that, I guess. Unless they changed it. No, they didn't change it. Fine. And uh, you can also get the other things, right? You can actually get uh, you can actually get some other stuff here, but these are not very important, okay? Uh, there is some nice cues, of course, but still, like, the cues are not actually very important because you can get some for free and etc, etc. I will just uh, leave you with one more thing because this video is, again, longer than it needs to be. I didn't really show you much about it uh, other than saying what, that it's really good. And that is gonna be, uh, I'm gonna remind you about the Super Miner skin, because the Super Miner skin is actually, in general, the strongest skin in the game, probably. Because uh, it just gives you so much bonus stuff, okay? It gives you so much bonus um, gathering, so much bonus gold and everything. Although, yes, it's true that for a lot of people, resources are not really gonna be an issue, I guess. Uh, later on. If they are not that active and if they are not actively spending on perk speedups, because if you take a look at it here, I might actually try to get a perk speed up here, but no, I'll not be able to finish it, sadly. But yeah, these things cost quite a lot at some point. They start costing quite a lot. But if you have any VIP, uh, if you have VIP level, a little bit of VIP level, I don't want to misclick. Okay, good. You basically keep getting these things for free. You keep getting like 2 million all for free if you're a VIP 6 or something like that. 7, sorry. VIP 8 uh, gets even more, gets 2.5 million oil and food every single day uh, just for logging in and clicking that chest. So I'm actually maybe a little bit more skeptical now about uh, like the super minor bonus than I was before. But still, it just gives you a massive edge in Eternal Land because, you know, uh, resources get you points there, so... And yeah, in general, it's just such a good skin to have anytime that you're offline. And there's actually some tricks with it. You don't even need to have it on all the time. So yeah, um, refer to my secret tricks videos uh, to that for that. Anyway, uh, thank you guys for watching. Until next time, please like and subscribe and share my videos with your friends. Uh, share them on Facebook, whatever. Uh, if you want, you can donate to me on PayPal. And until next time, have a wonderful day.